Staph aureus is a very common bacteria that actually about one third of people carry around on their skin or in their noses. What MRSA is, is a certain subtype of that bacteria that has developed a resistance to the most common antibiotics we use to treat um, the staph infections. The bacteria itself continues to evolve and become more resistant. So it's, every time we find a good antibiotic that works against it, the bacteria gets smarter and starts to develop resistance against that antibiotic as well. It can be spread through direct contact of a wound. So if you have a wound that is infected with um, Staph aureus and you touch that wound, it can be spread in that way. Um, the same way if someone is in the public who has a wound that's infected with Staph aureus, they touch that wound and then they touch you know, a chair or a doorknob or anything along those lines, it can be spread in that manner as well. Um, for those who are carriers of the bacteria, they have it on their skin and in their nose at all times, they can also spread it um, to other people. Symptoms of a staph infection or an MRSA infection um, are typically in the skin and soft tissue. It can start with what looks like a spider bite, um, but unless you actually see the spider bite you, you'd never want to assume that's what's going on with your skin. Um, so it can be a, an area that looks like a, a, a bug bite or a wound that is formed there, and then it will get more red and more swollen. It's often painful to the touch and um, warm to the touch, and it may start draining pus or some other type of fluids, and you may have a fever as well with the skin infections. When it comes to the skin infections, if there is a, a, what we call an abscess there or something that is um, a fluid collection, a, a collection of infected fluid, it may need drained um, with a, a surgical procedure. Sometimes that can be done at the bedside with just a local anesthetic or a local numbing agent. Um, and then sometimes it, if it's a large infection, um, you will have to go to the operating room to have it drained. Staph or MRSA can also cause pneumonias. Um, so symptoms of a pneumonia would be fever, cough, chest pain, shortness of breath. It can also cause bloodstream infections, which, symptoms, which the symptoms of that are a little bit more vague. You often just feel tired, run down, um, you may, and you'll have fevers and chills, um, but no specific symptoms to the bloodstream infections. Um, antibiotics are still our number one treatment of these infections. For pneumonias and the bloodstream infections, you may need to be hospitalized to have um, supportive care with oxygen or breathing treatments um, while, you're, while the antibiotics are starting to work. After you've been on the antibiotics for about 48 to 72 hours, you're gonna feel significantly better. Um, we often see changes in the skin infections within 12 to 24 hours of starting the antibiotics. There's nothing dramatic that you have to do to try and prevent it from occurring. Um, common personal hygiene um, behaviors will help prevent the spread of MRSA. Washing your hands, not sharing personal hygiene products like razors and towels, um, you know, uh, washing your bed linens, things like that, and keeping any wounds that you have um, clean and covered and washing your hands after taking care of wounds.